السلام علیکم سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ ود الیکٹرو میگنیٹک ریڈیشن الیکٹرو میگنیٹک ریڈیشن از آلسو نون ایز ریڈینٹ انرجی اور ریڈینٹ ہیٹ اینڈ دس از ون آف دا ویز بائی ویچ انرجی ٹریولس تھرو اسپیس سو یو کین سی دیٹ دین انرجی کمنگ فرام سن از این الیکٹرو میگنیٹک ریڈیشن اینڈ اٹ کنسسٹ آف perpendicular electric and magnetic fields uh, you can see uh, on your lower left side uh, this is the form of uh, electromagnetic radiation or electromagnetic wave so uh, you can see that uh, the uh, electric fields and the magnetic fields are perpendicular to each other means they are 90 degree to each other uh, so uh, and they Uh, uh, all are we are always perpendicular to the direction of propagation means they will be there will be 90 angle between those two fields and those two fields will also have 90 angle uh, to the direction of propagation okay so the examples are uh, microwave energy heat energy coming from microwaves light coming from sun x rays radio waves these are all examples of electromagnetic radiation so this is the complete electromagnetic spectrum it starts from gamma rays then x rays then ultraviolet then visible light then infrared radiation then microwaves and then uh, radio waves Uh, so uh, the uh, wavelength will uh, be uh, increased as we move from gamma rays towards radio waves so uh, the, uh, this electromagnetic radiation uh, it is uh, we have divided it into uh, different regions uh, but there is no clear cut boundary for each region means you cannot say that gamma rays is is, uh, is from this region to this region Th- that is just a hypothetical region uh, and uh, there is another uh, factor involved that is frequency so there are two things wavelength and frequency uh, so in our uh, the light that we can see is called visible light that is in the visible region the wavelength is uh, around 400 to 750 or 800 nanometer and and uh, uh, when uh, these lights the uh, constituent lights the violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red when they are mixed they f- uh, form a white light and that is the blend of all visible wavelengths and these lights can be separated by using prism so l- let's come to our uh, basic terminology you have studied it earlier in your fsc physics so the wavelength means the distance from a wave uh, to go through a complete cycle two consecutive peaks or two consecutive truss uh, crest and truss and uh, then there is a frequency this is a point uh, through which uh, you are going to count how many waves have been passed through one second and then there is a cycle that is crest to crest and trough to trough and then there is speed Uh, all waves travel at the speed of light in vacuum so let's discuss it one by one so you can uh, see that that y1 is a wavelength y2 is also a wavelength and y3 is also a wavelength and uh, the second thing is the frequency so you uh, you are going to fix a point for example you are going to fix like this point and then you are going to count how many waves have been passed from this point Uh, through this point so you are going to count it uh, and the number is uh, second so in this there are four waves that have that have been passed so the frequency is four cycles per second there are eight cycles per second and there are 16 cycles per second so this is one second timeline so as you can see that the uh, that the uh, wave of uh, first wave the second wave and the third wave they start together and they end together so that means that the speed of light is the same for every every wavelength means there will be difference between the wavelength there will be difference between the frequency but as both are uh, inversely proportional to each other so the uh, overall speed will remain the same as you can see here 
that uh, this is uh, uh, the speed of light and it is the product of frequency at wavelength. Then we will move towards uh, the dual nature of light. So light has two natures. First one is the wave-like nature and the second one is the particle-like nature. So the wave-like nature uh, is in the form of sine. Uh, so we call it sinusoidal uh, shape and the light uh, is also quantifiable means it has a particle uh, particle uh, look so we call it those particles of light we call them photons so these are the two different natures of light so how we are going to uh, calculate the energy of one photon it is given in this formula you do not have to memorize this formula just remember that uh, e is proportional to V and inversely proportional to wavelength. So E is directly proportional to the frequency and uh, inversely proportional to the wavelength. So what does it mean? Let's move for that work. So as you can see that in uh, uh, this uh, gamma rays region, you can see that the wavelength is very small as compared to radio waves. And you can see that the frequency is very high in gamma rays as compared to radio waves. How you can uh, uh, calculate that? You can see that the distance between two crust and the distance between two trough are very small as compared to the radio waves. Similarly, if you uh, fix a point and you count the number of waves passing through it, so these will be very high number of waves passing through a single point and this will be very low number of waves passing through this point. So it means that the gamma rays has higher frequency and very low wavelength. So let's move back to the slide. So what does it mean? It means that the uh, higher frequency, it means that it has higher, uh, higher energy. And if a wave has lower wavelength, then it means it has higher energy. So it means that energy will be higher in case of gamma rays and energy will be comparatively lower in as uh, when we uh, check it in radio frequency. So that is only important in this slide. No, you do not have to memorize the formula. So uh, from this point we can say that the gamma rays have higher energy then the x-rays have lower energy than gamma rays then ultraviolet has lower energy than x-rays then the visible light then infrared then microwaves and the least uh, energy with least uh, the waves that have least energy are the radio waves when seen in electromagnetic spectrum 